Bitcoin trades above $24,000, Ether trades below $1,700. Blur2 airdrop $300 million in extra tokens to loyal NFT traders. Hong Kong backs Web3 with $6.4 million in annual budget. Google Cloud to become validator on Tezos network. Australian crypto gaming firm Immutable cut staff by 11%. Welcome to 3 Auto TV. I am Ruchi Sharma. Cryptocurrencies market took a pause on Wednesday as investors opted for caution ahead of the release of the FOMC meeting minutes. Bitcoin plummeted below the crucial $25,000 levels. Vishakha Thakur joins us to tell us how the global cryptocurrency market is performing today. IC15 index of cryptocurrencies was trading down by 2.6% at 34,000 points. Strong economic data have fan fears uh, that the Federal Reserve could maintain its interest rate hiking campaign through summer. The US Central Bank has raised its policy rate by 450 basis points since last March from near zero to a 4.50% to 4.75% range. Two more rate hikes of 25 basis points are expected in the near future, analysts said. However, investors will score the results of the insights into the central bank's future rate hiking path and its recent 25 basis point increase. Coinbase shares lost 1.5% uh, after the company reported quarter 4 losses of $2.46 versus expected losses of $2.51 and the revenue came in at $629.1 million versus $588.17 million expected. The US dollar index, which measures the value of the US dollar relative to a basket of foreign currencies, is currently standing at 104.27 points. In another interesting news, US Securities and Exchange Commission Chair Gary Gensler has said that the ongoing insistence from the industry that the SEC is leaving crypto without clear rules is a false narrative. This year, the SEC has come out with a series of actions and policy decisions with huge potential implications for digital assets. In another interesting news, one of the largest transactions in the history of the leading metaverse space token Decentraland occurred on its network during the intraday trading session. According to Sentiment, an on-chain data provider, 256.31 million MANA tokens were moved out of a known whale address. This type of large transaction frequently foreshadows significant price swings in a new direction. The Securities and Exchange Commission's regulatory advances as a factor that triggered market volatility, analysts said. According to data provider Keiko, uh, increased regulatory risks have dented market sentiment and also believe that volatility is not likely to subside. Stock futures were little changed as a Wall Street braced for the Federal Reserve's latest meeting minutes and more insight on the central bank's future hiking agenda. Futures tied to the Dow Jones Industrial Average added three points. Meanwhile, futures linked to the S&P 500 were fractionally higher and uh, Nasdaq 100 futures gained 0.1%. But coin was trading at $24,105, down 2.6%. Ethereum, the second largest crypto, was down by 2.5%, trading at $1,640. BNB was down by 2% to trade at $307. Next on the list, Solana Sol was down 6.7% and was trading at $23.6. Polygon Matic was trading down by 6% to trade at $1.3. Cardano's ADA token was down by 2.8% to trade at $0.38. Doge, the popular meme coin, was trading down by 0.3% at $0.086. Next on the list, Shiba Inu was trading down by 3%. Ripple's XRP token traded at $0.38, down by 
Polkadot was down by 3% to trade at $7.1. However, Avalanche Wax was trading at $20.5, higher 1.5%. Thank you, Vishaka, for your in-depth analysis of the global cryptocurrency market. And now, back to the headlines. Ascendant NFT marketplace Blur announced Tuesday that it will soon airdrop some $300 million worth of additional tokens to loyal users days after overtaking one untouchable competitor, OpenSea, as the most popular Ethereum NFT trading platform by trading volume. Blur will release 300 million of its native Blur tokens to traders over the course of the platform's Season 2, which has already begun. Blur is currently trading at $0.99, according to CoinGecko. Season 1, which culminated with the debut of its native token Blur last week, saw Blur dole out care packages of Blur to traders who transitioned to the platform from a competing NFT marketplace, listed NFTs on the platform immediately following its October launch or used Blur to bid on NFTs. Season 2 will see tokens distributed to traders in a more Fixedly gamified program, according to the company, Blur customers will be assigned a loyalty score based on their interactions with and commitment to the trading platform. And buyers and sellers who refrain from using any other NFT marketplace will receive a 100% loyalty score. For example, a user's loyalty score in combination with the quantity of NFTs they list will determine how many Blur tokens they will ultimately gain in a later airdrop. Hong Kong will earmark $6.4 million for developing its Web3 ecosystem according to its 2023-2024 budget published on Wednesday. The funds will go towards organizing major international seminars, cross-sectoral business, cooperation and workshops for young people. Hong Kong's financial secretary Paul Chan also announced that the start of a task force dedicated to development of virtual assets composed of members from policy bureau, regulatory bodies and industry. Hong Kong Securities and Futures Commission published its proposed rules for virtual asset platform on Monday. Google's cloud computing operator is to become a validator on the Tezos network. Google Cloud's corporate customers will be able to deploy Tezos nodes, a type of computer that runs a blockchain software to validate and store the history of transactions in order to build Web3 applications on the network. The integration with Tezos marks Google Cloud's latest integration with the blockchain network, the platform having begun running a node hosting service for Ethereum projects in October, then shortly thereafter becoming a validator on Solana. Such integrations demonstrate the interest that tech giants are taking in blockchain and Web3 projects. They may also inspire confidence in other firms interested in moving into the industry, knowing they can do so using infrastructure with the scale and resilience provided by firms like Google. Google Cloud has previously pointed out the relationship between hacked accounts by malicious actors to mine cryptocurrency, suggesting the firm is attuned to the specific security risk present in the digital asset industry. Australian crypto gaming company Immutable is cutting 11% of its workforce. Chief executive and co-founder James Ferguson announced the job cuts in the note blaming the layoffs on a need to maximize how long its cash reserves will last and put its resources towards the most important projects. According to financial submissions to the Australian Securities and Investments Commission, Immutable earned $27 million but had $83 million of expenses in the past financial year. An Immutable spokesperson told the Sydney Morning Herald that the company had $280 million in cash on its balance sheet, giving it more than four years of cash reserves at its current rate of spending. Now let's go to Vishakha Thakur to get an update on the three buzzing stocks of the day. On the 20th of February, one of the largest transactions in the history of the leading metaverse-based token Decentraland, MANA, occurred on its network during the intraday trading session. According to Sentiment, an on-chain data provider, 256.31 million MANA tokens were moved out of a known whale address. This type of large transaction frequently foreshadows significant price swings in a new direction. MANA's price increased by 2% in the last 24 hours in response to the massive transaction volume and trading volume increased by nearly 20% during the same period. 
According to Coin Glass data, Mana's open interests have fallen precipitously since January 16. This fell by 47% during that time period. Mana's open interest across leading exchanges stood at $51 million. Mana was trading at $0.6874, down 6.86% in the last 24 hours with a market capitalization of $1 billion. Matic was one of the market's best performing currencies in 2023, rising 94% since the beginning of the year. Henkel, a privacy protocol that allows users to anonymize DeFi transactions, announced on Twitter on February 21st that it would call the Polygon network home. Henkel's onboarding provided an additional layer of security to Polygon's DeFi ecosystem, which has seen significant growth recently. According to DeFi Lama data, Polygon's total value logged has increased by 24% since the beginning of 2023 and appeared to be on track to recoup losses from the FTX debacle. A lot of the renewed interest could be attributed to the much-anticipated Polygon's ZK EVM scaling solution, which is being touted as a game changer for both Polygon and Ethereum. The Layer 2 scaling solution is expected to increase network throughput significantly and reduce gas prices. Polygon was trading at $1.35, down 7.80% in the last 24 hours, with a market capitalization of $11 billion. ShibaSwap decentralized exchange token has entered the top 100 cryptocurrencies in terms of market capitalization. The Shibarium launch, which is scheduled for next week, could propel it back up. For the first time, born ShibaSwap, the governance token of the Shiba Inu decentralized ecosystem ranked 99th in terms of market capitalization. This occurred shortly after the project's official Twitter page confirmed that the Shibarium beta would take place next week. Prior to the disclosure, there were rumors that the event would take place in the week preceding the now confirmed period. These rumors had increased the demand for SHIB. The bone market cap gained 35% in the last seven days, allowing it to reach the landmark. The price also exchanged hands at $1.85, meaning that the token holders were able to make over 174% in profits. Bone was trading at $1.80, down 4.33% in the last 24 hours, with market capitalization of $4 million. Thank you, Vishaka. Well, that's all in today's special bulletin. This is me, Ruchi Sharma, signing off. For more such updates, please like, share and subscribe to 3.0 TV. Have a great day.